Hi all folks, this is Max from HECEVOHacks.com So, um, I guess there's a better way, not a better way, there's actually a way to flash kernels, the whole ROM. Uh, you just can't flash radios and you're not going to do that pretty much anyways. You don't really need to update the radios. Um, so, how to flash, uh, how to flash uh, kernels and the ROMs on HBoot 1.5? Um, basically what we're going to do is flash the clockwork mod recovery into boot partition and then we can just um, zip the whole ROM file from there or also you can uh, take out the uh, the boot.img the boot image from any ROM that you want to flash or the kernel and use fast boot to flash it but we'll uh, I'll show you both methods but the first one I'll show you is um, flashing the Clockwork mod recovery to your uh, recovery or boot partition. So let's do that. Just turn off your phone. Um, make sure under settings, power, fast boot is checked off. That way you can get into a uh, bootloader and then turn it off. And you can turn that back on. Fast boot basically lets you boot your phone faster, but for uh, booting into bootloader, we need to turn that off so we can do that. Or you can take the battery on to it. Do it too, but... Anyway, once your phone is turned off, hold down the uh, volume down. Oh, it's still turning off. Take the, actually, the mm -hmm. USB cable out. Hold down the volume down and the power button to get into the loader. Alright. Alright. And then, as you can see, I'm on HBoot 1.5 unlocked. I use the HTC unlock method. Um, select on fastboot and hit power. And then let's go to our computer. And then go open up a command prompt um, or a terminal. Uh, and then go browse to the e root evo 3d new directory. If you root it using my method at htcevohacks.com, you already have this directory. If you don't, download my Evo, root Evo 3D new.zip and uh, put it somewhere where you can browse to it using um, cd backslash that. And then here we're going to type uh, fastboot um, boot and cwm and like that. This basically will boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery and from there we're going to actually try to flash uh, new ROM and uh, Hopefully this will flash the kernel too. So do that. And it's gonna reboot into oops, reboot into clockwork mod recovery as you can see. And let's go to our phone. And uh, go copy over your ROM file. You can do that before I did it, or I'm gonna do it now. So I forgot to do it. Go to mounts and storage. Mount your USB storage. And I'm gonna go to computer and uh, I'm gonna actually install this ROM called Tweak Synergy, and I'll be right back. So it's almost done. I'm gonna actually flash a 2.3.3 ROM here. Um, it's not supposed to work with HBoot 1.5, but using this method, you can by uh, booting into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Go back, uh, just copy the file over, uh, wipe data factory reset, say yes, hit the power button, and then I'm gonna go to install zip from SD card, um, choose zip from SD card power button. I'm gonna choose Kublu dash synergy 318, which is the tweak synergy. And I'm gonna hit the power button and say yes. And I will be back when this is done. Hi, all folks. So let's go back. And I'm gonna reboot and see if the kernel flash then uh, finally we can flash kernels um, and the other method you can use is uh, just uh, if you unzip the ROM file there's a file called boot.img and you can copy that boot well unzip just the boot.img and use a command called fastboot space uh, flash space boot space boot.img um, to flash the boot image and then you go to clockwork mod recovery and flash it. But I think this method is simpler, so. 
but I'll have another video on that to uh, flash custom kernels. Um, so I'll be back when this reboots. And voila, I rebooted. You can see it flashed the Ziggy 471 kernel. Um, let me double check that Wi Fi is working here. Let me show you that Wi Fi is working. And it's working, it shows my Wi Fi. Um, and I believe Forge is working. Uh, let me go test it real quick. Actually, I'm uh, I'm inside. I don't really get good signals here, but if it turns on, it means it's working. Because uh, before it wasn't even turning on. But uh, it should be able to connect. I get pretty small um, 4G signal here, but I do get some. So it's scanning. So it's working. Um, connecting this sprint. Well. I'm not getting a signal, but as you can see, everything's working. So um, you get everything uh, with the revolutionary. Um, you just have to uh, boot Clockwork Mod Recovery from Fast Boot, like I showed you, and flash this image. Now you can get overclocking all this stuff um, that you've been waiting for. Anyway, um, thanks to um, uh, this guy D38TH35425. He was the one who alerted me on this. So anyway. Thanks, y'all, and subscribe, and um, now you can flash kernels. Oh, yeah. See y'all later.